Okay guys, welcome back to tutorial number 10 and in this video we are going to be learning about another important syntax addition to ES2015 which is the arrow function. Now arrow functions provide a short and concise syntax for writing functions and they also simplify the behavior of the this keyword in JavaScript. So let's have a look at the syntax of arrow functions in this video and in the next video let us have a look at the this keyword. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by writing a simple JavaScript function. So var get regular function value, and this is going to be a function. And all it's going to do is return 10. So console.log, let's call this function, get regular value, and let's see what is output on the console, 10. So our function is working fine. So now let's see how to convert this function right here into an arrow function. Now in ES2015, remember we don't we try to avoid var declaration as much as possible. So I'm gonna replace var with const and let's have get arrow value. Now the first thing we can do with arrow functions is omit the function keyword. So we can have just the parentheses, and this is followed by what is known as fat arrow. So the equal to followed by the greater than sign is called fat arrow. And on the right hand side, we have the curly braces and then return 10. Now let's call console.log get arrow value. And let's save this. Let's have a look at our console 10 and 10. Now it's working fine, but I did mention that arrow functions are much more short and concise, right? So here's the thing. If our function has just a single statement within the body, then we can remove this curly braces. And we can also remove this return keyword. And there, there you go. These three lines of code right here is made into this particular line of code. It's as simple as that. You have the fat arrow syntax. On the left hand side, you have the parameter list to the function on the right hand side you have an implicit return value so no parameters right now and we're returning 10. now let's say we want to pass an argument so let's say m and i want to say 10 star m so m is a multiplier we are going to pass this and return 10 times of m and over here let me pass 5. so this is going to give us 5 into 10 which is 50. So let's save this, 50. But here's the thing, when you pass a single argument, you can even omit these parentheses. So let me save this, and the browser refreshes, 50. So that's another shorthand you have, or a shorter form you have. You can omit the parentheses when you have a single parameter. Now if you have to pass multiple parameters, you need, you need the parentheses so let's say m comma bonus and let's pass 10, 10 times of m plus bonus and let's give a bonus value of 50 so 5 times 10 plus 50 which needs to be 100 refresh 100 so that's how you work with arrow functions or that's the syntax of it and in fact if you have a look at console.log type type of get arrow val get arrow value let's save this and let's see what it shows function so get arrow value over here is in fact a function it is not a new concept or an alternative to a function it is just a shorter way of writing a regular javascript functions now, if you have to specify a function body with multiple lines, just make sure that you enclose them within a pair of curly braces and you also have the return keyword stated explicitly. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe.